Hello, Lego lovers. This is Elle, and this is a Lego Friends Advent Calendar set review. This is for the year 2020, and it is set number 41420, and it has 236 pieces, and of course, quite a few extra ones. So, first thing I want to say is I just did videos, reviews, for all the other ones. I'm not sure when this one will come up in what order. And this one, initially, might be really disappointing me, after having done all those other ones. It is $30, so... There is that. It's a little cheaper than, like, the Harry Potter and the Star Wars one, but, yeah, I don't know. Well, let's get into it. First up, we're going to take a look at the extra pieces here. So, transparent pieces, nothing too special. We got some flame pieces. The printed pieces are kind of where it's nice. You do have that pen, but that's not too uncommon. And you have a waffle, some cookies, delicious. And the gold is also kind of interesting. We have one of these Technic parts. We got a gold uh, roller skate, a gold tap, and a gold flame, which I don't know if I've seen before. We do have a vibrant coral heart, which is nice, and a couple other interesting pieces there. Here we have a paintbrush without paint on it, which is a kind of nice too. We got some red, some other stuff. The blue um, roller skate's pretty interesting. And we also get one of these, and which is nice and kind of metallic. One of these bar to studs, which unfortunately isn't a whole lot in here. Scissors are really common, so not a whole lot of special extra parts, but there's some here. I like the printed um, ones the best. So let's get into the actual set here. So we're going to just go through this one by one. This is a snowball chucker or thrower. Um, I'm assuming this represents a pile of snowballs. And then you can put one in here and flick it. Pretty little simple thing that you could play with. Um, not too really. This is literally pretty much the most basic type of thing you can build for this. Which is kind of disappointing. No real special parts. I guess this is kind of a cool blue. But yeah, pretty... Pretty simplistic little snowball thrower. And here we have a simple snowman. Very simple. No arms. Um, no other details besides the fact that he's got a scarf. Does come with the top hat, though. And let's see what else we have here. We have this grouping, which I don't know. So there's a pretzel. Okay. And then we have, like, a hamster and this. I want to assume that's a bed or something, or or I have no idea. But normally, like, if they had anything like this, they would have a stud on there, but they they don't. So I'm not 100% sure why, what that kind of is, but you do get a little hamster. You also get a skateboard with some bows on it, or one bow. Um, nothing really special here. It's literally the skateboard part they have in the dark purple. Seen it a couple other times. Not too special. So, we also have a mailbox. In all red. And it has one piece of mail in there. The older kind of one. Just has a stamp and some writing on it. Really simple build there. We have a table. Which is actually kind of nice. Now, you don't have to put the pen in the cup, but I put it there for easy keeping. Yellow cup, eh. We have the note list, which is a cool little print. We have one cookie there, and we have some purple and white there, but otherwise a pretty small build. And then we have this one I kind of like. There's a couple pieces here. So we have this kind of container, which my guess is supposed to represent hot chocolate or chocolate milk. Not 100% sure. I'm going to say hot chocolate because it also comes with this kind of little fire. Um, really little fire, really basic, not really built up at all. They do use this kind of quite frequently. I wish they could make something a little bit better, but oh well. But as a plus side, you do get two of these kind of newer little tea type cups. So 
Those I like getting. I'm starting to see them a lot more, which is nice. There was also an extra one. So what other builds do we have here? This one's kind of neat. Um, I would call it like a snowmobile type thing. Or maybe, um, I don't know, snow ski? Not jet ski. Sled? I don't know. It's kind of interesting. Um, although you can't, like, I guess... Yeah, that's kind of... I guess you could put a figure like that and bring that... It's a little awkward, to say the least, to put a mini doll on, which is rather disappointing. But another build, which adds to it, is this little sled with, like, one gift behind it. So they do connect together, and they look pretty good, but the fact that they have a jumper there instead of, say, just plates makes it a little awkward, um... To like, I don't know, have characters and stuff on there? I don't know. But, nice little sled type build. We have, of course, our holiday Christmas type tree. With an interesting build. Not overly a fan of this type of build. You do have different studs representing different ornaments. And you do have the star at top. This nice piece. I think it would have been better in black. Or brown even. Um, just... You know, I don't know. I'm not a big fan. I like the wedge kind of built. Not not the slope, the wedge plate type built one. So um, we also have some gifts, which are nice because they're the actual gift type box. And then you just kind of have a bow in there. And in this one, some sunglasses. Um, the only thing is I wish they were different colors. That This is like the one color they have of this. And that's kind of disappointing. So, not kind of... I don't know. I'm not a big fan of that. I almost would have preferred Brick Built, just because it would be cooler. You got If you buy friend sets, you get tons of accessories. So, they're not really something to find. Back here, we just have, like, a little holiday gate that you could use. Um, obviously, kind of candy cane look to it, so it's kind of nice. You got a wreath up there. Some stones for, like, a walking path. And then with that, we'll say we got a fireplace here. Kind of a nice, very simple build for a fireplace. You just have the fire back there. You got a stocking that's just kind of on there on a bracket. Nice color bracket. And then you just have some, uh, you know, mistletoe type stuff up top there. Otherwise, really basic type fireplace. The Harry Potter one was quite a bit better. Then we have these like workstations. And this is kind of nice. Really simple bench build. And then you got a pretty nice built like train here. And then you have a paintbrush. And I would say that this is supposed to be like a paint cup. So one of our elves here is painting that up. The only thing I don't overly like is that the train looks different on each different side. Because they wanted to have the window effect there. Um, yeah, it's not that bad. Here... The sweet treat bench, probably one of my favorite parts. You have a couple cookies, some plain cookies. Those would probably be sugar cookies. And you have um, like a cupcake. But I do like the transparent dark pink on there with the aqua. I think it actually looks fairly nice. And with that, there's actually another one. So this table is more of like a waffle maker. So you have the press here. And this doesn't have a print. That one has a print and you could say this is a plate. And then maybe this is a chocolate or, you know, chocolate syrup or something. And then maybe this is strawberry syrup. So, but again, it's built, built like that. And I like getting those dark pink transparent colors. Apparently I'm forgetting how to talk. Here we have another workbench with a little hammer there. And that cute rubber ducky type mold that they have. Love getting that piece in more sets. And they have it on a blue um, roller skate so it can ride around little simple one and then we have this one which is more of like maybe for wrapping or fabric depending on how you look at it maybe this is supposed to be tape or glue and we got bows here scissors obviously and a nice little build for whatever you know if this is wrapping paper or cloth but i do like this part in dark pink of course and there's only one in here unfortunately so um one of my favorite builds i think 
there's two builds left. And I think I left my favorite for last. Um, so we have a remote control spaceship. So pretty colorful and nice spaceship build, to be honest. And it's kind of uncharacteristic for a friend set to have a spaceship, but I love it. And I think they should do it more often. Friends can go to space too, right? Yeah. I almost want to build that in uh, mini doll scale and have that flying around in those colors. And this guy might be my favorite. So he comes with a wrench. A metallic looking wrench. Not really special. I don't know why he actually does. But this is like a wind up penguin. His feet are vibrant coral heart. I love how this thing is built. It's pretty unique how it's built. Beak. Ice skates up there. Or not ice skates, but the roller skates. Little, little tiles. And it really looks the part. And... Because this is how this is built, this kind of goes up and down. At first, I was like, oh, that's horrible. But then I was like, well, it can kind of look like it's hopping around, which I thought was really great. This is a very unique build and probably one of my favorite builds, even though it's really small um, out of here. It almost looks like it has a top hat, too. Really, really like this little penguin build here. But let's take a look at our figures. So here we'll have... What we'll say is perhaps a Mrs. Claus or someone dressed up as Miss Claus. Um, so you have this nice bag here, maybe a sack of presents, sits on one stud, and then you have her outfit. Now I'm not 100% sure if we've seen this before, but I do like the outfit. The white on the legs feels a little off for some reason. The torso print is fantastic. Face print is okay. No real emotion. Love that we got white hair there. No print on the back, which is really disappointing. However, the gold laces on the boots is pretty nice. I like that little added touch there. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's okay. Um, and then we have Emma in pajamas, which is fantastic. Um, I love when they do different outfits. As you can see, it's got pockets, and I'll take this off so you can see the print on the back. We have like stars of different colors and shapes, and on the front we have a moon with a sleep cap on, I think, or a Santa type hat. Just really, really love that they do pajamas. My only complaint is the face is the exact same. I was really disappointed to see that the face was just the same smile. All the figures have the same type of smile, which is a little bit of a letdown. Because this would have been a perfect opportunity to give us a mini doll with a sleeping emotion face. Uh, I need to make a video on mini doll emotions because it's starting to really, really bother me. I just went through all the other advent calendars. Characters had multiple faces on there, different emotions. Angry, very happy, not very happy and just yeah just more emotion character more i don't know just more so we have elves and unfortunately i don't need to show you the other elf because they're 100 percent exactly the same which is pretty disappointing so they each come with a little accessory represent what they're building um otherwise they use the storybook um build which I think is an incredibly ingenious, fantastic idea. They have a small amount of print up there, which is okay. They're smaller figures. They can only fit accessory holes, as you can see. And as you can see, my nails need to be redone. I will work on that at some point. Um, but I want to get these reviews done. Now, I don't know if this is the hat they've had before, because I've never actually had one. But as you can see... They have a normal kind of mini doll face, and then you put this on, and it gives them their hat and their ears. And like I said, this is the gold flame, which I think is interesting. You can use it as, like, hair more so. But, yeah, they're 100% exactly the same. That's a bummer in my mind. I think, you know, maybe you could have had a female elf, or at least an elf with a different expression, or outfit, or hat just really really a letdown unfortunately so all this stuff all the extra pieces how do i feel about this maybe i'm biased because i just reviewed all the other um advent calendars but 
Oh, I feel a little let down, to be honest. Now, this is a $30 one, so admittedly, it's cheaper. But when I, when I reviewed the City one, it, I just really loved the theme of it. The builds all felt awesome. I mean, this is a skateboard. I know it's like a gift. You know, I get some of the theme. It's just, this feels like an unorganized advent calendar when I think they can organize it. They could have had it, you know, sleeping the night before Christmas. I think that's something you could have done. They kind of mixed it with that, with Elf Workshop. Um, you know, this, I love this idea. But why couldn't we have gotten two different ones? Or a red hat even? A different face? Something, something, please. Um, you know, all the, all the other ones, I think, had six or seven figures. This has four. Now, I know they are mini dolls, but... You know, two of those are smaller mini dolls. None of them have a different facial expression. They're all just kind of happy. Ah, I need to see different emotions. Please, Lego. Please do something about that. Um, mini dolls have emotions. People have emotions. If this is designated for only girls, even though I don't think that's the case, anyone can get whatever they want. It's just Lego. Girls have emotions. Boys have emotions, adults have emotions, everyone cries, everyone's happy, everyone's excited, everyone sleeps. This is a perfect opportunity to have a sleeping mini doll. I'm going on a little rant here. I'll, I'll bring it back. One thing I will say is this is colorful, and none of the other ones were super colorful. The Harry Potter one was okay on the figures. This I think I, I love the most, almost, and that penguin is adorable. There are some really fantastic builds here. Um, like I said, the penguin and the thing, the spaceship. But then there's also some really... This isn't a build. I don't even know what this is. <laughs> this is really simple, but I get it. So, I okay. Out of all the snowmans I've built today, this is the worst one. It, it, feels, it feels like a... Almost like a first couple years doing lego advent calendars almost it feels a little mix some of it is some of it isn't um yeah i'm not a super big fan of this one if you only like mini dolls and you do want to get an advent calendar well obviously you're going to get this one but if you just want one advent calendar and you're a friends and a harry potter fan i would try to pay the extra ten dollars and get the harry potter one if you're a Star Wars fan and a Friends fan, I would almost get the Star Wars one unless you really don't like gray. Even though that's got some color in it, but yeah, I, I'm I'm let down on this one. It's pretty disappointing. There's some highlights, like I said, but I am a bit let down. Um, I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do an overall ranking type video of all of them. I think after all these reviews get out, and I do want to do parts reviews. But I, I feel let down here. I, I really do. Um, this picture is pretty good, though. You definitely get the workshop look. I do like that. I think that's better than the Star Wars one and the Harry Potter one. But I can't judge this on cardboard. It's supposed to be Lego. <laughs> well, thank you for watching. If you've gotten this far, you clearly know what my opinion on this one is now. So hopefully uh, you enjoy it. Let me know if you kind of feel the same way. If you're still excited to get it, let me know. I mean, it's it's not bad. It's just I feel like it could have been a whole lot better. Um, but thank you for watching. Hopefully you check out my other reviews and stuff. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again.